But I want to just say one or two things about one or two young girls. And right now, I want to tell you a little bit about uh, a girl from Farrell, Ellie Williams. Ellie Williams has been getting groomed since the age of 13 years of age. Now, she was on track. It was the grooming gangs there. We know what's going on there in Barrow in Furnace. This girl stayed away from the groomers and they were sending her all sorts of messages to get her out. But she got away with it because of this cur curfew were on. And she stayed away from her for about seven weeks. In the end, they got her out. They took Ellie Williams to an house where she was made to have sex with three Asian men. And there's nothing racist in that, it's just that they weren't Asian men. After it, they weren't finished with her. He said she owes them money for staying away for, for seven weeks. So what they did to Ellie Williams, they beat the living daylights out of her. They absolutely massacred her for not the first time, as we know they do it to all the other girls and boys, because this happens to boys as well as girls. So Ellie Williams on the 19th of May decided to go on Facebook and put all the pictures on there of her. Ellie Williams, 19 she's now, lifted up a jumper and shown her breasts to the world because they were smashed up. She shown the inside of her thighs, the outside of her thighs, her back, her buttocks to the world. She was beaten to a pulp and that wasn't for the first time. That was on the 19th of May. On the 20th of May, the police arrested Ellie Williams for breaking a curfew, which wasn't her fault. They remanded her into prison on the 20th of May, where she will be until, we believe, the 2nd of August 2021. They've even just threw another two charges on her. What they do... Hello? What they're doing, they're sending a message to the other survivors. Shut your mouth, or what happened to Ellie Williams being locked up will happen to you. And it will frighten them. And don't forget, some of these girls are 10, 11, 12, 13 years of age. And the groomers will use it. What they'll say to these girls, look at Ellie Williams. She opened her mouth. She has all the pictures of her body being battered. And they didn't believe her, they've locked her up into prison. But you're only 10, 11, 12, 13. They'll put you in prison, they'll put you in care. They'll take you away from your mum and dad, from your brothers and sisters, and you'll never see them again. And they'll believe these groomers. They'll believe them because they know what's happened to Ellie Williams, who is locked up, as I said, till the end of next year. I'm going to tell you about a few others right now. But I will say this, the police in Barrow are covering it up. They don't want people to know that there are grooming gangs there in Barrow in Furnace. Just like Oldham, Rochdale, Halifax, Telford, Rotherham and the latest city to admit these grooming gangs going on. And that is where we are, Greater Manchester. We know that with Victoria Gola. If you look at me back, there is a picture of Victoria Gola. This young girl was raped and abused. Victoria Gola, like Ellie Williams, was battered. A grandmother, she used to bathe her all the bruising that she took off the groomers. And when she answered back and said she didn't want to do it, they battered her. Victoria Gola of Manchester told social services and the social workers I'm being raped I'm being battered and I'm being forced to be injected with heroin and social services did nothing unfortunately about eight weeks later Victoria Golia of Manchester aged 15 and as I say there's a picture of her she died on Monday the 29th of September 2003 of an heroin overdose. That heroin overdose 
was given by the groomers to shut her up because I believe, like Kelly Williams, she told them she did not want to do it anymore. So they just injected her with more heroin. And that is murder. And no one to this day has gone to, to prison for the murder of Victoria Goya of Manchester, aged 15.